There is nothing to fear. God is with you. God is a mighty healing presence. You know, many people tend to become fearful when they or someone dear to them is in need of healing. All over the news, you hear about the virus and how people are so very concerned. And you should be concerned as far as taking care of yourself, washing your hands, and doing what officials tell you to do. But do not be overcome by fear. The fear is overcome by the realization that no condition, no condition, not even this virus, is beyond God's power to heal. The assurance that positive Christianity gives people time and time again is there is nothing to fear, that God is with you, a mighty healing presence and power. And God is also within all of the medical professionals and the inventors of new vaccines that are working night and day in a tireless way, being guided by the mind of God. If you need healing, or if you are praying for the healing of another, or praying for a healing of those that you don't even know, but that have been infected, have faith in God's power to heal. Have faith in the life that is in every atom and cell by the Creator, and know that the Creator can recreate. Let us believe in God's power to heal. Let us believe in our ability to respond to the life idea to rise out of any condition, to show forth renewed health and vitality and well-being. We are meant for life and wholeness. We are meant for joyous, happy living. Always, it is God's will for us to have healing. It says in Isaiah 35, verse 4, Say to those who are of a fearful heart, Be strong and fear not. We pray at Positive Christianity for all those that are affected by the virus. But we also pray that God will guide you away from harm's way and that God will keep you from areas that would be unsafe to you physically or to your germs in your body. I pray that the powerful healing of God is working night and day. I pray that our immune systems are built up and I pray that there is a great recovery of our nation, of every nation in the world, and all the peoples everywhere. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray for this. Amen.